And it's this league time. Football's over, so it's time for this league. They wasted no time getting back into the petty wars today. Almost a little too perfect timing with I'm, football no, done. I'm convinced that there was a script going around to the Golden State Warriors, to the Memphis Grizzlies, to Woj. Woj probably wrote it, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, and uh, get Wendy involved in there too, Rachel Nichols, all the key players. This is like sweeps week Everyone's for the NBA. They knew now's their time to strike, and they did it with the perfect timing. Hats off to David Stern. And as all uh, NBA beefs go, they always all roads lead back to Kevin Durant. So here's what's uh, happened. Essentially, uh, everyone know that, knows that Andre Iguodala got traded in July for cap relief to the Grizzlies. He essentially said at the time, I'm not playing for them. Trade me to a contender. It was all kind of agreed upon. Like everyone said, this isn't a real trade. He's going to eventually play for another team. He has not played all year. He has not shown up. He has not done anything with the Grizzlies because he kind of said he wasn't going to, which is okay because he admitted it. And I think the Grizzlies were like, that's fine. We'll trade you. Last night, uh, who was it? Dylan Brooks was asked about Andre Iguodala, and he essentially said, we can't wait till he gets traded so we can beat his ass and show him what this team's about. Because the Grizzlies are kind of a fun young team with John mm -hmm. Morant. Then, of course, it went to Twitter. And he did say, though, his quote was like, it's not a distraction at all. I laugh at that type of stuff. He's not even there. Right. Right. So it's like... It is of this league where the words have definitely of gotten course. like of course misconstrued, but it's it's fully fully fledged now. This right. is the only league ever where somebody that hasn't been on the team all year can get into a fight with somebody about not being on that team. Right. When it was agreed upon that he would not be on that team later. Right. So Steph Curry then uh, responded with a Instagram story with Andre Iguodala holding the Larry O'Brien trophy, being like, "Hey, look, I got he's got a ring. Why don't you shut up?" And John ja Morant, which I love, future rookie of the year, responded with Kevin Durant, being like, "Hey, who won those rings? Kevin Durant." And that's where this league re reaches its final destination. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant being used to uh, somehow cuck the Warriors' success is perfect this league. Yeah, he is the straw that stirs the drama in the NBA. Right. And it's, it's great. Yeah, whenever you see him, like he was making like the shrugging sign, that was the perfect matchup to the emoji that was used. This is why I think that it was all written out, was because the emojis were locked and loaded to be matched up with the pictures. Mm -hmm. they were, it was almost a little bit too perfect and too coincidental. Uh, they need to have something to talk about going into the All-Star break. This is the perfect way to get it going again. I love what John Morant did as well because he is a Steph Curry fan and he admitted it right away. Because, of course, once he goes at Steph Curry, everyone will go find his tweets saying Steph Curry's the man, Steph Curry's awesome, you know, three years ago when he was in high school or when he was in college. So he just admitted it. He's like, I'm not deleting it. And, yeah, I've always been a Steph Curry fan. I'm just not scared of anyone. So mm -hmm. I like this. I like this from John Morant. He's in a – Incredible player, but on top of that, it seems like he's got uh, a good personality because most people would, like, you know, get mad online or uh, delete it after a little bit or walk away or get on their burner. He mm -hmm. just owns up to He's like, I was a Steph Curry fan. I'm not scared of anyone. I'm really good. Mm -hmm. He always shocks me when I when I watch a highlight of Ja Morant just dunking on somebody, just being ruthless because his name's Ja. Mm -hmm. It's like, that it seems like two Rastafari respect of a name for someone who's not very chill at all on the court it's also uh shout out to the grizzlies by the way because they've been wearing their throwback jerseys i think they wore them last night awesome grit the teal Grind. the the Mem no no the, oh, the vancouver, the vancouver ones. ones yeah yeah the big teal country ones. yes the original yes. big country they're awesome those, those ones are, are sick. great Absolutely. great jerseys the mid 90s was really a bad time for a lot of stuff but in not general, those but not those jerseys yeah they should bring that those back full time because they are they pop Bright they absolutely green. pop uh, okay. Like, turn, it turns uh, the Mississippi River, the coast of the Mississippi River, into like a little bit of South Beach, mm -hmm. having that teal and that pink and, and red on there. It's gorgeous. Uh, we also have this league because Ben Simmons called the Sixers soft. He said we're soft. Jay Butt ate that ass last night, and uh, which was the easiest bet of all time when you watched the fact that I think Kylie Jenner or is it Kendall? Kendall. Kendall was in South Beach for the Super Bowl. All the Sixers were at the Super Bowl. Of course, they were going to get the shit kicked out of them against the Heat on Monday night. Yeah. And it's, I mean, the Sixers are in a big time problem. Trust the process. They don't know what to do. They have two guys that can't play together. And now you have guys, you know, I mean, he did say we are soft. So at least he threw himself in there. Right. But that's really a Joel Embiid is soft. How many threes has he made this year? 
Two. Uh, we're up two. two. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Is is that over under still at like seven and a half? I'm not half? sure where it is because I really want to get in on that now. Stephen A. Smith was pissed off last night. I saw that he was saying, "What in the hell? Capital H E L L is this? I've been watching the Sixers trailing the Heat by 35 damn points. What the hell they do? When you, whenever you get at least two hell and dams in a Stephen A. Smith tweet." You know he's pretty upset. Did they party with the Chiefs after the damn Super Bowl? <laughs> yep. Brett Brown running this Spurs system. Tim Duncan and Tony Parker ain't walking through that door. Damn. So that's that's three dams, two hells, which are all fine. That's just generic profanity. Ass, hell, damn. It's all, all out on, on his page. It's all out on the feed. No uh, swearing on the feed, though, otherwise. <laughs> but, yeah, Stephen A. Smith is very, very upset with the current state of the Sixers right now. Uh, but I have, I've had a long-standing theory that any team from a cold-weather city or a city that's going through cold weather, whenever they go to Miami, bet against them. Yeah, of course. And, I mean, it's doubly true when you can see – you can literally go on Instagram and see them at the game having a great time. The Sixers are horrendous, horrendous on the road. Are you – Hank, where are you at with the Sixers? Because that was – for a while it was like, hey, the Sixers and the Celtics are going to have a nice rivalry going forward. Oh, I'm sure they'll, they'll still – have bubble up in the playoffs yeah i mean that's ben simmons is saying that but it's more of like a mid-season like we're soft it's not get it together, like the nba guys. it's like until the all-star break like they still have time to turn it around it's very it's a very weird team though like i, they, I mean I the celtics smoked they, they smoked they smoked the sixers on uh sunday that was great the celtics are banged up too so i don't know it's one of those the nba i feel like you have to wait till the all-star break to really really decide who's who's here to play and who's not and we have i think trade deadline coming up on friday so mm -hmm. oh, maybe really? something big will happen yeah a little woge bomb coming or when nothing will happen everyone will say damn this trade deadline sucks when it is, seems like it's going when is the way. trade yeah. deadline like during the day on friday or is it I think it's in on the thursday evening? it might be thursday yeah so that's going to have to be one night that we yes we'll it probably is thursday stay late. i it remember is. we got we got like blindsided by a couple of trades a few years that ago. That wasn't right? the trade deadline though. That was just so that was when Boogie got traded randomly after the All Star game. So That's that was right. not anything that we could you know expect. I think it's in the middle of the afternoon though on on Thursday. Uh, either way, this league is back. Feels good to be back mm -hmm. on this league. I don't. The NBA knows how to get people uh, interested right as soon as football ends. So good job by them.